Hello, and welcome to a brief history of the seven Iron Men. No, not those seven merry miners. I mean these four, uh, uh, I mean these seven real men. And why should you care? Well, because the seven Iron Men made Mountain Iron and the Iron Range a thing. The seven Iron Men are comprised of Happy, Grumpy, Bashful, uh, um, oops. I mean, the brothers are Leondis, Alfred, Cassius, Napoleon, Louis J, and their two nephews, John E. and Wilbur. These guys are the ones who really got the Iron Ball of Minnesota going, until Rockefeller had to come in and ruin everything. Our story begins with Louis and Hepzibeth Merritt, parents of five of the Iron Men. Louis, an explorer, and Hepzipepsi, a nurse, teacher, cook, cleaner, and all-around great lady. One day, Louis was bored. So he was like, hey, let's go live in Minnesota, lol. And Hepsi Pepsi was like, yeah, okay, sure, let's go. One time when they were in Minnesota, Leondis got sick with typhoid fever, which is awful, and he was probably gonna die. So his parents left him for dead in the woods, but he came back, and he wasn't even mad about it. While in Minnesota, the five brothers and two nephews were looking for gold or diamonds, but what they found instead was even better. Iron ore. Iron? It's better than gold or diamonds? Well, now they got all this iron, and they have no idea what to do with it. So they call in a greasy government land surveyor known as Stunts. Now, the thing about Stunts is he's an idiot. You see, after discovering all the iron mining potential in Minnesota, he began to boast about it in different bars and pubs, and he almost ruined everything. Despite Stunts being an utter dunce, the brothers still were able to create U.S. Steel, the largest iron mining corporation of its time. Well, now they got all this iron, but no way of getting it around. Until railroads. So the seven iron meatballs now own the biggest iron mining company, but no railroads. But good old Rockefeller offers them money to build the railroads. Little did the seven iron dumplings know that Rocky Balboa was about to swindle the entire company from under them, including the railroad tracks. So all the Merritt brothers, including their nephews, died poor. Despite this, though, the Merritt brothers still left an economic impact of over a hundred billion dollars on the U.S. economy, including over 900,000 jobs. Also, they got a school named after them, so that's pretty neat. Thanks for watching a brief history on the Merritt brothers, or the Seven Iron Men, depending. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just a guy. I don't even care. Uh, bye.